All right. Hey, VC. How you doing? Thanks again for stopping by. My name is Jamie. Uh, first off, I haven't had a chance to a chat about this, but uh, I'm at over 100 subscribers, and I can't believe it. I am absolutely thrilled, and thank you so much uh, for checking out these uh, uploads, uh, leaving comments. I do uh, enjoy chatting about the music and do enjoy your comments, and... Uh, Thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, and uh, I really do appreciate it, and that you've made this a whole lot of fun, and I cannot believe um, at this point that I'm over at 100 subscribers, and certainly, uh, yeah, again, thank you very much, I do appreciate it. Okay, let's uh, get to the music, shall we? Uh, we've got some new music off the top, I picked this up on CD, uh, this is Colin James, a Canadian artist, and his brand new album, Miles to Go. Now, Colin James has been around since the 80s, and uh, kind of a blues-based guitar guitarist, but certainly early in his career, he was getting a, you know, a number of Canadian radio hits, like a voodoo thing just came back, uh, but now he's been doing a lot more blues-based kind of stuff, and this album certainly no exception. Uh, he does a few originals, but mainly it's uh, blues covers, and uh, he, I think he's just at a great place. Great band, and this is really a terrific album. And uh, Colin James also did sort of that big band thing as well, uh, very much in the style of Brian Setzer. But uh, here's the band here. And it's kind of nice. Colin James isn't chasing the hits anymore, so he's just kind of doing the blues that he does best. And there's a number of covers on there. He's covering everybody from a few Muddy Waters covers. Arthur Crudup also covering uh, Howling Wolf, Blind Willie Johnson... Also covering Lemon Jefferson, so yeah, start to finish, absolutely terrific. And I think if you if you're not familiar with Colin James, uh, you can stream this album, but uh, really good, worth checking out. Okay, and uh, just arrived. We've got another sort of unwrapping, if you will. This is David Bowie. Uh, live at Glastonbury uh, 2000. So this is the uh, CD and DVD uh, version. And I do love uh, the warnings. Uh, this is a uh, sort of a UK uh, or slash Europe uh, warning that they have on the back here. And it says, uh, now it's only, it's recommended for those 12 and up. And it's infrequent strong language, drug references, and sex references. Suitable only for persons of 12 years and over. Not to be supplied to any person below that age. And this product contains flashing images. And uh, there you can get an idea of the uh, CDs and set listings there. So uh, this is kind of one of Bowie's comebacks uh, early in the early 2000s. Uh, performing in Glastonbury, England. So let's uh, let's take a look inside. And I believe on this uh, live album features a backup vocalist, uh, M. Griner. Now, M. Griner uh, talked about she is a solo artist and a Canadian. In fact, it lives in uh, St. Mary's uh, near where I'm located. And she is part of the group uh, Trent Severin. Uh, we've talked about this. She's part of this kind of folk uh, country group called Trent Severin. And they continue uh, to release uh, albums. And uh, she is this person here, M. Griner. And a great singer. And I love her solo uh, work as well. And, uh, yeah, was able to sort of hook up with David Bowie at around this time and uh, went on, on tour with uh, Bowie. I don't think she recorded any studio stuff with uh, David Bowie, but was uh, featured as one of his live backup vocalists. Now, it's interesting that this uh, nicely just slips off like that. I get to keep, the, keep that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, surprisingly nice package that it uh, kind of pops out like this, although it looks like it's in there quite nicely, and this might be a little difficult to get. It's amazing how tight uh, they fit some of these things. Okay, we got her open. So there you go. And nice sort of sort of tamp -tamp Oops. And that slips up like that. Okay, and here's the booklet right up on top. And let's take a look inside. And this one definitely features Bowie pretty much doing all the hits from what I gather. And boy, really sporting the long hair for this uh, particular time. That yeah, looks like a lot, a lot of essay stuff. There's lots to get through there. Okay, let's uh, take a look inside see how this looks. So right up on top we have the CDs. And nicely housed. And let's check out what's inside. Oh, very nice to see. 
sleeves. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, so that's that. And the sleeves are nicely clearly marked as one and two. Very nice. Okay, so there's that. And then the DVD. Yeah, everything fits quite snugly in here. Now, the DVD, they've done it as like a gatefold, even though it's a single uh, CD. So you have that. That. And you have that. It is slightly unfortunate that uh, with some of the uh, UK slash uh, European stuff that they have to put this so large um, on the back there. But, ah oh well. It is what it is. And it looks like this is, yeah, this is actually just with a sticker on here too. They just stuck this one on. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, I don't know if there's any listings of the artist just to confirm uh, that M. Griner is part of this, but I am led to believe that she is. Yep, yeah, and the musicians listed there. Yeah, absolutely right there. So there's the musicians up at the top there. And uh, M. Griner, I guess it's background vocals. Yeah, M. Griner on background vocals and keyboard. All right, very exciting. So yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, some of the early reviews of this haven't been the best, but they say it's it's not super great, but it's okay, uh, sort of thing. But uh, we shall see. And uh, you know, so he's doing uh, China Girl changes, uh, Life on Mars, Absolute Beginners, Ashes to Ashes, Rebel to, uh, Rebel Rebel, um, All the Young Dudes, uh, Under Pressure, uh, Heroes, Let's Dance, and so yeah, he's doing you know all the all the classic Bowie. All right, so there you go. All right. Oh, and I've uh, got a few uh, thrift store finds uh, just recently. Not too, too much stuff. Uh, Seals and Crofts, uh, their greatest hits. Uh, you know, great vocals uh, with these two, James Seals and Dash Crofts. And, uh, of course, the greatest hits, this contains all the big hits. And, uh, yeah, just smooth, kind of 70s stuff. And it was nice to see that the uh, lyric insert uh, was included, which I didn't know... It's part of the original package, and on the great uh, Warner Brothers label with all the palm trees. Okay, so there's that. Uh, yeah, Chicago. Picked this up at uh, one of the uh, thrift stores, Value Village, and this is Chicago number uh, 14, Chicago XIV. So that's a Chicago 14. Uh, this came out in 1980. No real big hits on this one. This was definitely in their sort of transition period. Now, I don't know who owned this before, but who owned it decided to put the number beside the uh, song listings there. But as you can see, no real big hits from this one. Produced by Tom Dow, though. Uh, certainly noted, great noted rock producer. It certainly wasn't too long after this when all the David Foster hits started rolling in, but uh, nice to see the uh, sleeve included, <laughs> and that is part of the part of the design there. And right through to the label too. So there's that. <laughs> that. Chicago. All right, a little Dino for you. You often will find uh, Dean Martin and uh, some of the crooners in the uh, thrift stores. This is uh, Dean Martin, My Woman, My Woman, My Wife. And this is on the reprise, the reprise label. And, you know, it's classic, classic Dino. Uh, interesting uh, doing a version of Detroit City on here. Not to be confused with the Kiss song, of course. And on the great... Reprise label. All right, a Canadian artist uh, you may not be uh, familiar familiar with. This is the uh, group or band uh, Doucette. And, uh, yeah, this came out in 1978. Uh, Doucette had the hit to Mama Let Him Play, which uh, still gets a lot of uh, play on uh, classic rock radio, a Canadian hit. So this one had the hit to Nobody uh, featured on this one. Uh, featuring uh, Jerry uh, Doucette. On lead vocals, and that's him there. And this on Mushroom Records, I believe. Yes, the classic Mushroom Records. And the early Heart albums were on Mushroom Records. From the 
West Coast. Yeah, good rockin', good rockin' 70s stuff. And one more for you. We've got uh, Elvis Greatest Hits. This is Elvis and Pure Gold on RCA. And this features, uh, yeah, it's kind of stuff all over the place. we got to Kentucky Ray, but then we've also got Jailhouse Rock, Don't Be Cruel, uh, Love Me Tender, uh, All Shook Up. So this one's kind of, it's not necessarily later uh, 70s Elvis. It's kind of, it's all over the place. And on the RCA label, of course. Oops, there we go. And there you have it. All right, and that's going to wrap it up uh, for this one. Thank you so much. And uh, certainly, yeah, I'll be definitely uh, perusing this one. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll uh, chat again real soon. Uh, certainly enjoy your day and hit subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.